I went into Whole Foods the other day and this is what I saw. Yes, this is what I saw. Smoked lionfish. So you know, so I made half a bite, right? Yeah, I made half a bite and see what I go on with it. See there? Hot smoked lionfish. And you know, lionfish is an invasive species. Yeah. So we're going to work on it. The man in Jamaica cook it after and fry it up and thing and thing. But like other one you smoke, I'm going to try to see if it can work. I'm going to use it like red herring, you know, and try to do something with it. And show sure, no. You see? Remember me tell you. So this is the dissecting process, which is what it seems like he's doing. Who is he? Hmm? Yeah, the belly. Me and your husband. I are your husband. So guys, let me tell you how it, it, the, the consistency of this smoked lionfish is like a, you know, the, the um, smoked white fish where Americans use a lot. That's the consistency. You know, it, it not, it's not too soft, but it's not too hard either. And I'm just trying to get out as much of the bones as possible. So, you know, it'll take a little time. And again, because we're not we're not um experienced with the lionfish i mean never eat fresh lionfish yet you know so but i'm telling him you can just take off the the easy to to glean parts of the fish and dash for the, the rest instead of taking two hours i prefer to, to take the two hours why because i'm a very um what you call it detail um deboner i'm a very detailed deboner see it look there short over there so it look yeah i mean i gotta fry this up now with some oh, big piece no that's just what piece of the fish oh. let me take out the fish and show them this is one of the big ones in the container oh, you know there's another in the fridge right there's another in the fridge see yes. there see there this is the lion fish and it's a fighter Can fish. Face? In face look like lion, see? See? Lion. Mm. Him say rawr. Not everybody run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it um invading the waters. Most of the tropical areas now. It uh, kill off all of the other fish. Are you yeah. sure that now, no? no. Why? Because it's important to keep. Andy, you can't waste the fish now. Wasting the fish is a tragic thing. Alright, so guys, I'm going to just take off what we can take off after of this. You know? And then move on to the next one. Okay, so see the end result there. Yeah, out of the whole entire pack of um, lionfish. That's the end result. Now, we have to, we have to treat it like um, red herring because it has the same smell. The whole you know composition of the smoking process make it come like red herring but however it's gonna be a little bit tricky because this is a much softer fish and you don't want it to break up so i'm gonna try to saute it first and try to uh firm it up a little bit and then i'm gonna it's gonna be a quick stir fry and you know not a long cooking you want to stir fry it up with short, 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 short cooking no 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 long cooking you want to stir fry it up with some onion some garlic and some some tomato and just bam slam bam thank your mom food done and we move on all right so next step is the sauteing process all right but we are watching dumpling then my wife i cook dumpling so over here so we have the dumpling and those are Irish potatoes and the wife made dumpling and the dumpling are goes in into the pot. I also have two little pieces of saltfish there so we might add to it for body it up, you know, just in case because you know I have to be careful with it something. We don't want it spoiled. Just in case it look like it won't turn mush, we have to resort back, I mean resort back to the, to the saltfish. But yeah, saltfish and lionfish. Change stir mind. fry or oh, you could change your mind and you say you depend health diet and the diet only um make you eat irish 
<laughs> and that you say, you said and the diet is only a high rich potato diet. I just tired, lazy, but lazy to make them, but now that they make. But the Lord said, alright, so the dumpling are cooking and the high rich are making. In Jesus name, hallelujah. So I have my non-stick pan ready, I'm just going to use a little coconut spray. Not that much, because I'm not really a cook, not have it pan low. And I'm just going to dump in my lionfish bits right now I'm pretty much I just want them to stay there and toast you know and I'm gonna try to see if I can firm it up as much as possible because as I say it's extremely it's not extremely soft but it's soft so my my plan is to toast it up to firm it up and I, I include a little bit of the skin because I like the skin you know but I toast it up and see look when the skin touch the heat it just immediately just crisp up yeah man, trust me. I may work on it, you know. See, I can get it to where I want it. So it done toast up a little bit and um, it toast up nicely. I may add some cooking oil to the pot. Yeah, let me show you. See how it look? See, add some cooking oil to the pot. I'm just going to add my salt fish at this point. Just with body it up, you know. And I add about three tablespoon of um, cooking oil. Just make it more. Right away, I'm gonna add in some of my ingredients. Then, my onion, I'm a garlic, and this is about how much? How much onion? This see that? About three quarter of an onion, and about four garlic cloves. I just want this saute. Yes, I'm using a lot of onions, but we love onion, and it's the it's the Vadele onion. So, we just want this to saute, you know, and soak up, you know, the onion and the coconut oil, and you know, blend up nicely. Yeah, let me show you me what's going on around here yes that's how the lionfish look with the saltfish and the onion and thing and thing next thing I'm add a tomato so I just add dice up the dice up the tomato then dice not thin well rough chop sorry rough chop my tomatoes to add them in yeah and we use a lot of tomatoes guys. Yes, yes. Yep. Yeah. Time for the tomatoes. I'm gonna have my eat from slow. Yeah. And I set my time with it. I use my um vinyl spatula. Because I don't want nothing the, the, the something to break up. The lionfish to break up. Yeah. I would just want this stew down yeah I like how it look I like how it look as as um as chronic say we do it for the love do it for the love we not do it for the life we it for the love yeah for the I mean I put some country pepper in right now you know what about thyme and scallion um no you can get the time and say yeah. hold on i'm gonna put up the pepper in it half a pepper 
I'm gonna put my pepper them in the freezer, guys, as I always say. By doing such, it preserve it. It preserve it because it not it not spoil quick, and it also cut down the tonnage of the pepper, make it less peppery. Yeah, so pepper run. And then now, and I like him armband. Jamaica, Jamaica, <laughs> Jamaica. Then now, we're going to just make this one saute and below flavors. Mm -hmm. Cover it a little bit. Yes, yes. I don't think I don't want to add any water. I want the tomato to spring it only for juices. And then we'll add in with time and we'll thing. Our thing. Yes, yeah, something has stewed on nicely, may I tell you the truth, so the time I go in there now. And we are putting this on the green onion. To put in the something now, my girl. Eh, yeah. we are putting in the green onion now, a little, little bit of shadow, Benny. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Trisha the pan camera, she is going like, she a big chef, like, as she run down at Miami, you know. And she understands understand, say, how we are the big thing around here. You understand? Because I run the whole uh, Miami Dade and Broward. Mm -hmm. And guys, I promise you, this is it. This is it. I got tip a little vinegar and some tomato juice. Ketchup. Tomato ketchup. Let me see. Yes. And our... Tomato ketchup. Thank God for when um Chick-fil-A. And these were not stolen. These were left over. They were not stolen, but we take them, you know, we take too much. <laughs> so, we have to use it up. You know, really steal, we steal it still, but we purposely take not. <laughs> so, we have put the ketchup. Yeah. And the some of the vinegar from the pickle. Mm -hmm. No, you don't need the market. Your cuts already? Put it. Can't spoil. Put it. So that's two package of ketchup. Yeah? And some of the pickle juice. Mm-hmm. Use a spoon base. And this is the pickle juice now. That's vinegar from our pickle pepper sauce. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And now we're going to turn the fire up a little bit more. Oh, we want some black pepper. Now we cannot go without the black pepper. It is the staff of life. Yeah, and I eat that, you know. I eat that. We just make it just permeate now. And that's my word, so please do not take it. It's copywritten. Permeate, and it means it's just gonna simmer. Alright, we haven't added any more extra um, water to the pot. We just allow the juices to do their own thing, you know. Mm hmm. And she will try to squeeze out. She in shall milk. In true yard belly style. They can't she have milk out. Nothing. Yeah, she have milk out every ounce of ketchup out of that. Like yeah, because you're not for wasting. Not because it's a foreign. You mean to have those waste things. Waste no. Not waste not, wanted not. Right. Alright, so the next thing you're going to see is the plating. You understand what I'm saying? My lion fish and salt fish. Lion and salt fish. Stew them. <laughs> you are the belly. You know what? into farin remember i told you and see the finishing there you know, guys i want to tell you yes man my uh, lion fish and my salt fish cook down nicely and you know me have to finish up my dish with some tomato some um cucumber cucumber overload but you know say a vegetarian thing with depend most of the time so like share subscribe if you like the food give me a thumbs up Remember to check out with live breakfast every Thursday morning, 9 o'clock. Yeah? 
Until then, is Yard Belly TV doing another thing at another time? Why the food look good? Why if you can't wait for eat? No, I cannot. Trust me. Yeah, if I have turn up turnstile, I have turned the food, make it spin on the turnstile, I couldn't see. But it's a go on, it's a happen. You see me? Just consider it like red herring and saltfish mixed together. You know? Guys, stick and stay. You are the belly in our, in our foreign.